tonight, President Trump is refusing to directly address allegations that he avoided paying any federal income tax for years, using a series of loopholes, write-offs, and business losses to shield himself from the same type of taxes nearly all working Americans pay. The New York Times says it has documents showing President Trump paid only $750 in income tax his first year in office, that his businesses are losing money, and that he personally owes $421 million on loans made to his companies. Well, today, the Speaker of the House suggested those debts could be a threat to national security. And tonight, the president does not appear to be denying the facts in the Times report. On Twitter, he's accusing the newspaper of illegally obtaining his information and arguing his financial statements are, quote, impressive. Now, for a president who built his reputation and his presidency on the idea that he is the ultimate deal maker, these new revelations now threaten to once again upend this year's presidential campaign. And on the at the White House. Good evening, Ben. Nora, good evening. You know, President Trump is the first president since Richard Nixon not to release his tax returns. And when these revelations came out, he first called them fake news. Now he's trying to justify how he's handled his taxes. Getting great job by Adam. Tonight, President Thank Trump is much. not answering questions about tax records he's long tried to conceal. In a bombshell report, the New York Times obtained tax return data covering more than two decades. It shows President Trump paid just $750 in federal income tax in 2016 and 2017, the same amount a single adult making about $18,000 would owe. And in 10 of the 15 years before that, he paid nothing because his business has lost so much money. The Biden campaign turned the tax revelations into an ad showing what average Americans pay. The Times report contradicts Mr. Trump's billionaire business guru image. And they paid me $213 million. Many of his businesses, including golf courses and hotels, report losing large amounts of money. The president also used tax deductions to fund his lavish lifestyle, writing off expenses for housing, aircraft, You're fired. and even $70,000 in hairstyling for his TV appearances. It's totally fake news. Made up fake. On Sunday, the president denied the report. Today, he defended his use of depreciation and tax credits in a pair of tweets. Mr. Trump has long claimed there's nothing to hide in his tax returns while refusing to release them. I look forward to releasing that. I look forward to releasing many things. I'm going to release many things and people will be really shocked. The documents obtained by the Times show the IRS is auditing a questionable $73 million tax refund the president claimed and could now be forced to pay back with interest. The records also show Mr. Trump took in $73 million from foreign deals during his first two years in office and is now facing hundreds of millions of dollars in loans coming due. This president appears to have over $400 million in debt, 420, whatever it is, million dollars in debt. To whom? Different countries? What is the leverage they have? So for me, this is a national security question. And Ben joins us now from the White House. So what do these documents reveal about Ivanka Trump's role in the family business? Well, Nora, according to the New York Times, these tax documents suggest that Ivanka Trump was paid $750,000 in unspecified consulting fees while she was an employee of the Trump Organization. Now, those payments could have helped the family reduce its overall tax bill. All right, Ben Tracy, thank you. Well, tonight, former Trump campaign manager Brad Parscale is under psychiatric evaluation at a Florida hospital after his wife told police that he was abusive, armed, and possibly suicidal. Here's CBS's Manuel Bohorkas. To the ground, man. I didn't do anything. This body camera video shows the takedown of former Trump campaign manager Brad Parscale after a standoff with Fort Lauderdale police at his home. The incident started Sunday afternoon with a 911 call from a woman who stopped to help Parscale's wife, Candace, after the couple argued. She came out and then she heard the gunshot. She doesn't want to walk back in. She's worried he shot himself. According to the police report, Candace Parscale told officers Brad has made suicidal comments and drinks and suffers from PTSD. Officers believed he was under the influence of alcohol. His wife said he had several firearms. The police found 10. Can you come outside with no weapons, please? Hold your arm. Okay. 
Is it hurting? The caller and officers also noticed bruises on both of his wife's arms. In the report, she says they occurred a few days ago during an altercation with Bradley. Parscale had become a prominent figure in the president's circle, running the digital side of the 2016 campaign and becoming campaign manager of the 2020 re-election bid until July when he was demoted. The campaign issued a statement reading in part, Brad Parscale is a member of our family and we all love him. We are ready to support him and his family in any way possible. Police say Parscale is not charged with a crime. He was hospitalized under Florida's Baker Act, which allows for the involuntary commitment of up to 72 hours and a mental health evaluation for those who are deemed a threat to themselves or others. Nora? Many more kids. Home and we begin tonight with that bombshell report on President Trump at his taxes. The election just 36 days away now, and this is the most extensive reporting yet on the matter. The same the following year. That's about the same amount an American worker earning $20,000 a year pays in federal income taxes, $750. The Times points to those 11 years in which Trump paid no federal income taxes at all. And the Times also reporting that the president is hundreds of millions of dollars in debt, more than 420 million, they say, in debt, that could come due over the next four years if he's elected, leading to questions, who is that money owed to? And of course, all of this just 24 hours before the first face-to-face -face debate between President Trump and Joe Biden. Here's our chief White House correspondent, Jonathan Carl, leading us off tonight. On the eve of the first presidential debate, the American public is getting what's been described as the first detailed look at one of Donald Trump's most closely guarded secrets, his tax returns. In its blockbuster report, the New York Times reviewed detailed information on nearly two decades worth of Trump tax returns. The details are startling. Trump paid no federal income taxes at all in 11 of the 18 years they reviewed. In 2016, the year he won the White House, Trump reportedly paid only $750. For his first year in office, he again paid just $750. $750 is roughly the federal income tax bill of someone who makes $20,000 a year. At the White House, the president insisted the Times report was not accurate. Well, first of all, I paid a lot, and I paid a lot of state income taxes, too. But state and federal income taxes are two different things. The president built his brand and his campaign on being a business genius with a Midas touch. I have great business sense. I made a lot of money, and I had great success. So I've had great success. By the way, really successful. But the Times reports the Trump businesses, including his golf courses and resorts, are actually a wash in red ink. His Washington hotel reportedly lost $55.5 million since it opened four years ago. His foreign ventures, according to the Times, are among the few that have actually made money since he became president, more than $73 million, some of the most profitable in countries with authoritarian leaders, including the Philippines and Turkey. When Trump ran for president the first time, he insisted he was loaded with money and had almost no debt whatsoever. Anybody. I don't need debt. You know, it's very interesting. I'm so liquid. I don't need debt. And if I need debt... But the Times reports the president is actually drowning in debt, including more than $421 million that could come due over the next four years. The paper noting that if Trump is re-elected, quote, his lenders could be placed in the unprecedented position of weighing whether to foreclose on a sitting president. Today, the president tweeted he has very little debt compared to the value of assets. He has repeatedly said his tax returns are under IRS audit. It's under audit. They've been under audit for a long time. The IRS does not treat me well. The newspaper reports the IRS is in fact investigating a $72.9 million tax refund the president received in 2010 and whether he took improper deductions. The Times found Trump took tax deductions for money spent on his lavish lifestyle, including $70,000 on hairdressers during his time on The Apprentice and more than $95,000 for Ivanka Trump's makeup artist. The president says he is entitled, like everyone else, to depreciation and tax credits. He has long refused to turn over his tax returns, but he's also bragged about his ability to avoid paying taxes.
It's the only years that anybody's ever seen were a couple of years when he had to turn them over to state authorities when he was trying to get a casino license, and they showed he didn't pay any federal income tax. So that makes if me he's smart. paid zero, that means zero for troops. The Biden campaign points out that most voters do pay taxes, releasing an ad today highlighting working class people who have paid more federal income tax than the self-described billionaire in the White House. All right, so let's get right to John Carl. He's with us live in Cleveland, the site of the debate tonight. And John, we will all...